Throughout the history of World War II, many would say that every soldier that fought was a great soldier. This is true, but there are a few men that were considered valiant soldiers. There are tons of stories about war heroes during the time of war, but some people tend to think that these so-called war heroes may have just been a form of government propaganda to increase recruiting or military morale. The story of Vasily Zatsayev is one of these stories. His story is begin as a first-class private in the Red Army of Soviet Russia. He began his heroic activities during the Battle of Stalingrad, specifically when fighting the Nazis over control of the Volga River. Vasily showed great marksmanship during the early stages of the battle, where he later was called up to be a sniper. Using only his normal rifle, he shot three men at an 800-yard distance. He was awarded a sniper rifle from his courage and placed in the army as an actual sniper. Over the course of the Battle of Stalingrad, Zatsaya reportedly shot and killed with over 225 soldiers. This is an extreme feat, but it was not Zatsaya's greatest story. The story that most people question as propaganda is the battle between Vasily and the so-called Erwin Kion. The movie incorrectly depicts the story that was told by Vasily himself, but we don't know if the story Vasily told himself is even true, so this is the most accurate reproduction of the story. We don't know if the original story is true or not. Many people speculate that it's not true because of the edgy description of Erwin Keon. He was allegedly the head of the Nazi cipher school and also ranked major in the army. Some accounts say that he was a member of the SS, but no records in the German record books prove this. Zatsaya's story is most likely propaganda that was used to increase the morale of soldiers because with a such heroic figure in the army, a lot of men would try to be just as heroic. Also, this worked on the civilians too, trying to get them to recruit and get more people in the army because they wanted to be like him. I believe that the story is most likely a fluke because of the descriptions and the no proof. The only proof is the sniper scope that Zatsaya claimed he found on the body of Irving Kong after he killed him. Even though the story is probably untrue, Zatsayev's military career is very real. He is remembered in the Russian ar army as a valiant soldier, and, and I believe that, that is how he should be remembered. Don't know about me. Don't know